All right, so today we're gonna to be testing all five of the current tier four combat characters because I'm curious to see how these guys actually compare to each other. But more specifically, since Namor is the most recent combat tier four, I wanna see how he stacks up to these guys. Specifically, Moon Knight, since Moon Knight was the very first combat tier four we ever got. So with that being said, let's jump into it. So we're gonna start off with Hulk. Keep in mind that this is Hulk after they've officially nerfed him. So it's going to be interesting to see how well he performs now. Once upon a time, he was able to get through this thing in like two minutes. But I'm not too sure what it's going to look like now. And I'm going to try to keep the teams the same for everyone, even though obviously some characters will have better teams that they can use than others. Like if a character has the leadership tag, obviously they can use White Fox, whereas some of them don't have the leadership tag. Some of them are not, um, what you call it, not heroes, so they can't use Wave and whatever and whatever. I'm going to try to use the same exact team for everybody and see how it works out. So you can see Hulk is significantly slower than he used to be. I'm hoping that they're not done with him. Like they say they're done with him, but I hope they're not. But hope is not a strategy, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Hope is definitely not a strategy. Like whatever he is right now, accept him as this and say, you know what? This is how he's gonna remain. I don't lie, after playing with him when he was super busted, it is kind of sad coming back to play with him now and just seeing, like he's still great, like especially in PvP, like PvP is like, it's still his domain, right, still his domain, but uh, seeing how busted he was for a GBR, it was so nice, so seeing this now is like, it's great, but like, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just have to accept it and move on. No sense crying over spilled milk. Okay. So it looks like it's going to be maybe three minutes. Yeah. Actually, maybe a little bit more than that, 3.30. Still love the fact that Hulk can't die, though. It, it is really nice. You can just kind of do whatever you want. I think we have another like 30 seconds here. Boom. We could just stop here, but it's okay. Slam down. Let's go ahead and spin. Yeah, it's 3.30. Pretty much. Called it. Yep. Next up, we have Venom. Let's see how Venom performs. I think Venom is gonna be about like 2:30, maybe a minute faster than Hulk would be. Nice. We'll see. I think it just comes down to Venom needing the the setup. Wow, like, chill out, bro. Couldn't even get my tier 3 off. Okay, hurry up. And that's the last one. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> once we get off the tier 3, it's kind of juicy.
you can see the bars move substantially faster with Venom than with Hulk. <laughs> but to be fair, my Hulk is running a PvP build. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab these. Boom, boom. Bro, we are kind of kind of mad <laughs> I was trying to get the rest of the symbiotes that were on the ground but couldn't get them unfortunately gotta be careful I don't get like killed okay we're good do that boom 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 and it's over it's under two minutes next up we have Moon Knight let's see how Mr. Knight actually performs it's been a while since i've used moon knight and giant boss right actually i've just been playing with the newer characters you know i've been playing with the new new but i gotta show moon knight some love i still use him don't get it twisted he's still really good for abx and i still use him from time to time in world boss legend but when you have all the toys you know we fly through this phase the fastest out of everyone just because we have the awakened skill. I'm really curious to see when we get like um, tier 4 for people like Makari and whatnot, how strong those guys are gonna be. Because, like, they're already so busted. Or at least they were at tier 3, when tier 3 was uh, the big thing. I wanted to build up my feet down a little bit. Yes, I'm using him with energy, by the way, guys. The CTP of energy. I see no need to change him to a rage because I'm already capping in ABX. So I was like, what's the point? And like I was saying previously, I don't really use him too much in here, so there's no point. And now with rage reforging, if a character can use energy gonna stick with them using energy you know it's a little bit slower than venom but it might just be because well it's not might it's definitely because he's using energy as opposed to venom who's using a rage but then at the exact same time all right so next up we have carnage and carnage is a little bit different than everybody else all these characters are a little bit different than each other but for carnage his damage is scaled on him getting hit so it's really dependent on whether or not I position myself exactly where the mom was about to attack so that we get the most out of every rotation so there's a little bit of waiting involved like right now like it would be okay anyways yeah. done 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 it would have been unwise for me to just like start attacking when I can just wait and farm him for extra damage. Okay, like right here. Boom. Pull a six out and drop myself down into this thing. Just gonna have to try and get back on. Thank you. Rotation is off. Yeah, the rotation is off. I don't like it. Still gonna be fast, but not as fast as it could be. 
but see that was oh come on I thought he was gonna do the uh, purple attack that hits me there that's when he does it come on hit me thank you All right, we have the man of the hour, the king himself. Let's get it. Boom, boom. Name more. I swear if you die in, in this. Okay. <laughs> this guy almost got killed by the, by the foul deed flames, bro. Let me just hug the wall or hug this side over here. Where's my proc? Playing games. I see. Okay. I was a little early on the rage proc there, but I was trying to see if I could get him down to 18 bars. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay. Really? Namor, you, you moved to the worst possible spot you could have gone to at the worst possible time. I really hate where the striker, the tier 4 striker pop up. Like, you know, it says, oh, Thor popped in. Like, I really hate that spot because I cannot see how much time is left on the proc and, and all that stuff. Like, it's really annoying. And I, I've been complaining about it since tier 4 was released and um it's just annoying me more and more as we get bored characters anyways ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna wrap the video up right here let me know who you think was the victor in this thing obviously all of these runs could have been a little bit faster if things had gone differently but i'm gonna take it for what it is all of these characters are still quite powerful but i'll let you guys decide the victor in the comment section